Hey guys, Bobby here. I thought today uh, I'm going to clean my uh, MMP shield. I'm probably going to be carrying this around for the next week or two. So I just want to clean it, make sure you know everything is uh, good to go. And uh, But first of all, uh, I was talking to the owner of uh, Warthog Gear. And as you guys know, <laughs> I have quite a few of, of their holsters. And you know I love them. This is the Quick Tuck holster. Uh, they also have hybrid holsters which you know I, I like both I've been using this quick tuck holster a lot lately because you know, it just clips to your pants so easily uh, and uh, you know I like it but if you enter uh, uh, BT blades in uh, the coupon code on checkout you get 20% off these it's running about 50 bucks and this is the upgraded leather so it's 10 extra dollars 60 free shipping and uh, like I said extra 20% off I think that's a, a great deal there and I was on the website and it said uh, three to five uh, five days shipping so I mean you know it ships out in three to five days as opposed to most websites where it says uh, eight to twelve weeks which I think is crazy but I'll throw the link in the description I'll put the promotion code I just want to pass that on to you guys which I thought was pretty cool but uh, so when cleaning your gun the very first thing you always want to do is safety check it. You want to make sure everything is safe, which everything is. No magazine, see nothing in the chamber, so everything is safe. But uh, for me, I think the products I use is it's going to be CLP. I think CLP, I use this on the barrel and uh, cleaning out carbon. This just removes carbon to me the best. Then also whenever I lube the rails and everything, I use Hops 9 or Ballastol. And Ballastol works really well also on knives. I, I use that to maintain my my uh, the blades and I really like that because see right there, eco-friendly, skin safe, no carcinogens. So yeah, I think that's pretty important for a knife. But um <clears throat> So we, we know everything's safe, you know, we safety checked it. Uh, we'll go ahead and disassemble it. It's one of the reasons I really like the MMP shield. It's so easy to take down. Boom. It's a part. And uh, pretty much for, for this piece, I just really make sure, you know, everything is uh, clean. I just wipe it down with a, a dry cloth. You know, just get in there, uh, try to make sure there's no carbon built up anywhere. Get in there, which this one is pretty clean. I haven't, I've, I've, I've uh, <clears throat> I took it to the range and, you know, I've, I've cleaned it since then, but you know, it's always just good to run through and, uh, you know, just make sure everything's good whenever, uh, you know, I know I'm going to be carrying it for a little while. The uh, last thing you want is, you know, uh, some, something to be, you know, wrong with it or it's super dirty when you're carrying it and when you really need it, you know, it's it's not going to work. So, we see that's pretty clean already. You know, I just wipe everything down. You don't want to get too much oil, especially in here because, uh, you know, uh, if it's oily, then whenever you do shoot or go to the range, um, it's going to build carbon up in there and, you know, it's going to stick to the oil. Uh, the recoil spring, I pretty much just wipe this down, make sure there's there's nothing again. You see there, everything's pretty clean still. So wipe that down. And this is probably what we should have did first, was spray that barrel down so it can soak a little bit. So this is where I use the CLP. I just kind of spray some in that barrel. Get it in there. The other way too. And usually whenever I go to the range, this is the part right here that gets really dirty. So we'll just let that sit for a while. Uh, get the slide. Spray a little bit in the front. And, uh, you know, I don't want to, you don't want to get a lot of oil back here by the striker pin. Because, you know, like I've been saying, uh, you know, you don't want carbon to build up in there. You don't want no oil to get down in there because then whenever you... You're going to have to disassemble it all the way, which would be very time consuming. <laughs> so I just like to maintain my stuff, you know. 
Uh, just run through, clean this real quick. Clean, clean in there. Hey, you know, uh, cleaning a gun is kind of like asking a guy. You know, some guys. Uh, I, I'm a yard guy. I definitely like you know my my yard to look nice and uh, keep my grass really green. And you know, whenever I talk to some of my neighbors, everybody has their own way of you know keeping their uh, grass super green. But there's no right you know there's no one r right way. So everyone has their own little ways, and this is kind of just how I clean my gun. You know. Uh, just get in there, get a brand new, brand new uh, a cotton thing here, and just really get in there. Make sure there's no oil by the striker pin. Wipe down any excess oil. Everything's really clean still. So just get in there, and then this is where, usually where I I use the Q-tips and I just clean in here. Make sure everything is is good. Get that string from the towel. Just get in there. Q-tips are really, really handy when it comes to you know cleaning your gun. Helps you get in all these little grooves. Get in uh, right there. Get in. Same thing on this side. See, it's a little built up. Get the clean side to get over here by. By the extractor, and then get up front. Helps me get all the little grooves up front. Which yeah, is a little bit a little bit dirty right there. So that's that's pretty good to go. Uh, let's start on the start on the the barrel. So I'll just wipe down some of this excess oil. You could actually, you know, uh, if I just came from the range, I, I might even let let this sit for a little while. You know, uh, spray it down after I get home from the range, and then just, you know, let it sit for an hour or so while I do something else, and then, uh, you know, go ahead and clean it after that. But I'll just go ahead and wipe down the excess oil. I do like these boar snakes a lot. So this is where I use my boar snake. Uh, I like the boar snake because, whoops, sorry, I just bumped the camera. But I like the boar snake because that way I don't have to get, you know, the rod and I have to scrub it. Then I have to change the tip of the rod out, put one of these down in there and keep, you know, it just, it's time consuming. You get a boar snake, you just drop this in there, pull it out, and then uh, you see those, the, the steel right here, it, kind of, it scrubs. You know, it scrubs it out in there, and uh, I mean, just it's that easy right there. <laughs> Can't beat that. So I just drop it down again. Uh, you know, if I went to the range, I'd probably do it a uh, a few times. You know, at least maybe four, four or five times, whatever it takes to get it clean. So, and that's not much though. As you see how fast this is, you just kind of go through. Boom. Uh, that's really good just but you know whenever I do shoot a lot uh, this is the part right here that gets really dirty so it's pretty important that you clean this this out over here you see it and there's still some even though I've cleaned this once already get a key tip clean in here wipe this down again and I know some people use a microfiber cloth, and I, I think that, that'll work too. I mean, that's that's good. That's just what I do. Because uh, I don't have a microfiber cloth. I do have uh, some of those Chris Reeve towels. But this is fine. <clears throat> so that's all good to go. And just last part. So get one of these, and this is where I, I lube the rails up. So you can use a hops nine, or you can use ballastol. Either one works great. And just get a little bit of, of oil on there. Uh, <laughs> scraped a little bit of my finger. A little bit of skin is coming off. Um, 
and I just lube the rail real quick because you know I know right here this is where metal touches metal so you're definitely gonna want to you know get get a little bit of oil in there so I get it in that groove and then I come back here I know you know this is right where the metal contacts the metal so I get some a little bit of oil on there and there's not a lot of oil on this you can see I mean it's not like I'm not globbing the oil on there it's just a nice thin thin layer of oil and go to the barrel which still has some access we we'll just wipe that just wipe everywhere normally I'd put a <clears throat> a little bit you see right here where the, the metal touches metal I'm just and you see it's just a real thin thin sheen there like I was saying not a lot it's very little you know all this area where uh, metal touches metal it's just real thin coating and that's just what I like to do so I'll put this thing back together get the recoil spring that on there there it is lock it back drop the slide we know it's all safe and then uh, get one more cloth and just wipe down the excess oil there And that is good to go. So that is it. Got a nice clean uh, MMP shield all ready to go. So you know, that's how I do it. And I, I hope that helped. Uh, hope that helped some of you guys. But that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.